Hello and welcome back to the Let's Do a Video Boardroom. I'm today here with Seth Hitchens from um, from mm Hmm. Thanks for being here today, Seth. Um, Seth, I I came across I've I've been following your company a little bit lurking, a, a little bit of a sneaky lurker, checking out the website because it's very close to the some of the the, the stuff I do here. Uh, playing around with whether I'm on Zoom or on MS Teams or recording something for uh, <laughs> recording something for for YouTube like this. Um, you know, using images and graphics and different scenes to make things interesting. And it seems to be what, what you're about. So can you give me a little bit of a, well, please introduce yourself and give me a little bit of a history of mm -hmm and what we're looking to do in this space. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Um, so I'm Seth Hitchings. I'm the CTO at mm -hmm. uh, We're a tech startup that's uh, a little bit over three years old now. And we were born at the beginning of the pandemic when all of a sudden we, like everybody else, uh, found ourselves working from home unexpectedly. Um, part of our company uh, at that time had had already been working remotely. Uh, you know, we we're accustomed to distributed work, but but a lot of folks were still in the office, and we we quickly found that we sort of hit this intersection everybody else hit of being uh, bored but from Zoom fatigue, from from just being you know, staring into the camera and the rectangles all day, but also not feeling like we were communicating as clearly as we had been able to in person. Um, if we were trying to show some material, we would end up splitting our attention between staring over here at your screen share and staring over here at you to see what your body language was, You know whether you were making a joke or you were serious about that point, whatever else. And so sort of on a whim for our own use, we we built the initial version of mm -hmm, which is a virtual camera. It let you uh, sort of composite together different video effects, uh, you know, yourself, your virtual background, your slides, uh, and dump them into uh, what looks to Zoom or Microsoft Teams or Google Meet, just like a camera, um, like you're doing here. And uh, we quickly realized this wasn't just a toy for internal use. This was something maybe the, the rest of the world could benefit from. Uh, and we launched it uh, back in July of 2020 um, and have been sort of on a mission since then to use the tool to both uh, make life more interesting when we're on video, to, to sort of get away from the PowerPointification of communication maybe, and uh, try to sort of make visually engaging, uh, interesting uh, media. Uh, but also to make it approachable for everybody um, and to allow you to sort of be understood better by communicating effectively on video, uh, doing that live like we're doing right now, uh, but also recorded. You know, maybe I, if I need to make a presentation to my team, instead of sending out a, a wall of text or a long email, uh, I'll put together a five minute video. Uh, and again, hopefully I'll get more of their attention than it might otherwise. See, the, the approachability, you mentioned there's something about approachability. That's the key that, that we've been missing because I'm already sold on, on everything else you said because that's, that's what I do. Uh, I, when I meet with people, just meeting with them on Zoom, I'll, I'll put them next to me just because I like seeing someone next to me. I like this vibe. I put, it, I put the materials, whether it's a PowerPoint or whatever, uh, on my little screen because it's just so much. I don't like share screen. Nothing against you know, share screen. I just don't like that. I don't like being half the size. I like being immersed. I love this, but it isn't approachable. People say, oh, I love all your tricks, David. And let me show off some of the stuff I do just to make it, you know, fun. I put us in different places. I mean, you can really express yourself. You can get creative. Um, and, and some of this is really advanced. This this 3D skewing effect, this is a complicated plugin, but just to, just to kind of show off what I can do, this is how I I keep things fun. This is how I express my personality. And people say, oh, you know, David, we watch your, your stream and, 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 and we watch your YouTube videos and we love this stuff, but how can I do it for myself? And, and they're always disappointed by the answers that I give them. I tell them, you could hire me, which would, which would be wonderful. Or I say, I can teach you for a couple of weeks the basics of the software I use. It's great software, but it's just not meant to be super user friendly. It's meant to be, it's meant to support all the plugins and stuff. And You'll be able to do the basics kind of, but months from now, you're going to be calling me, asking me for help. And they're like, well, thanks for nothing, David. I, I, you know, I, want, to, I want to do some of this stuff, but I've been playing around with them. And I, I really think that, you know, it doesn't do everything that I can do, but it does, it does basically what we're looking for here. And it is, I can honestly say it's approachable. I, I've done the ultimate test here. Are we, are we ready for our test? Let's do it. Show me what you've learned. All right. So. Just for our viewers, this is, this is really almost unfair to Seth. What I did is I met with Seth a week, a week ago and we had a, a casual conversation and he, he basically explained the product to me, but not really a, a tutorial or anything like that. 
And after we met, I went ahead and downloaded it from the website. And I didn't read any guides. I'm serious here. I didn't read any guides. I didn't go to YouTube and watch any tutorials. I just started clicking around. I'm like, let's see how intuitive this really is. And I created my, my first presentation. So let's take a look. I'm putting it on the screen behind me. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to disappear myself from here because it's weird to have two Davids. But one David's enough. Uh, and I know my color's a little off. That's not mm -hmm's fault. I'm using a second camera, which I've never figured out the settings on. So that's, that's a David issue. Uh, but this is the mm -hmm interface. And when you talked about virtual camera, so whatever is in my window here, whatever I create in my window here, if I'm in Zoom or MS Teams, when I look at my camera, instead of seeing Logitech, Poly, whatever, I'll see, uh, in addition to those, I'll see mm -hmm as if it's a camera. And this just goes right into, right into whatever software I'm using. So, so the exactly. way this works, I got that right? Okay. Yeah, that's great. That because that lets us uh, integrate mm -hmm with any app that can consume video from a camera. We don't have to go do integrations product by product. Yeah, then that used to be tricky to to get different products into different. Uh, the the way to do it is the virtual camera. That's the way OBS works. It just pretends to window. It lies to Windows. Windows doesn't need to know. <laughs> we'll yeah, tell Windows Mac it's a OS camera, too. and Windows treats it like a camera, and that's the way we want to. That's what we want to use it. So so. Uh, this isn't just a virtual background like what like Zoom has. I actually have control. Let me. I can place myself wherever I want. I have my camera. I can resize it. I can make myself bigger and smaller. So we're already having s some more power. And I see there's some buttons at the top of adding files, adding text, a adding uh, uh, GIFs. Um, I could change my backgrounds. But what I really love about it is the workflow. Let's say I set this up. I have it how I want it. Well, that's great, but I've also created a few more. And in this one, I'm down, smaller. I have a different background, and I put some text. In this one, um, I added, I love the GIF support. Because uh, it's New Orleans, I got a gumbo. I just you know, added the search GIF, and I typed in New Orleans, and gumbo came up. I love gumbo. In this one, I, love, I made myself round. There's this options. And again, you can see, not again, I said it the first time, but I should have said before, there's not that many buttons, which I like. You know, a few little sliders to, to, to change my camera. Very intuitive. I put myself, made myself round to put myself in there. And but what I actually love about it is I, uh, the, the ease of use, but the workflow. Because now that I have these all set, let me go back to my beginning. And I'm doing a presentation in a webinar on Zoom. Or, or I want to record something for my YouTube. I click the record button. And now what do I do? I don't need a script. It's all set up for me. Say, hey, welcome to where the heck has David been uh, live broad broadcast. Uh, I recently took a walk in the woods and I went to Dubai where, where I had my name in the clouds and I went to New Orleans and then I went out into space. Thanks so much for watching the podcast. See you next week. Uh, this is a, uh, I, I, you didn't have to, I didn't have to learn OBS. Um, I'm, I'm good to go. I mean, is, is, that, is that the intended use? Am I on, on track here? Yeah, exactly. You've, you've hit the nail on the head. So th there's a few key things here. We want the software to be fun. We want the software to be useful. We want the software to be approachable. Um, so here you are, right? You're having fun. You're, you're standing out to your audience. You probably got their attention there uh, from inside that spacesuit. Um, you were able to easily get started. Uh, you know, it, we're, we're trying to sort of walk that fine line of giving you the creative control you need to communicate what you're trying to communicate, but without making it overwhelming, without giving you uh, too much configurability. Um, and then we want you to be able to put it all ahead of time, uh, put it all together ahead of time, because as you said, the, the worst time to be trying to find the right button in the user interface is when you're also trying to make a point to somebody uh, when it matters, when it's when it's high stakes, whether you know, I'm giving a presentation to my boss or a sales pitch to a potential customer or making this video, right? I, I don't want to have to sit there and fuss with the, the settings. So script it all out, uh, make your presentation, make as many as you want. Uh, and then when it's time, go on through it. The, once the presentation starts, and it, yeah, that's, that's a big point. Once I'm doing a presentation, I don't want to be thinking about controls. I want to be thinking about the presentation. The only thing I click is the, is the right arrow key on my keyboard because that moved the slides to the right. Nothing else. That just one. I can handle pressing one button, uh, and and I think it's time to mention what I think is the power feature. The one thing that um, mm -hmm does so much easier than the way I do things, which is this wonderful little invite button. 
Um, I, I don't want to use it now because I don't want to mess with audio and have echo because of Windows Audio. But if I click this invite button, I get a link. I send you the link over IM or, or email or whatever. And if you click that, you'd be in here with me. I could put you in this other spacesuit. Uh, That's right. So now we now we can take the the conversation out of Zoom uh, if we need to. Uh, we can we can collaborate directly in in mm -hmm, or we can still be on Zoom giving a presentation to an audience. It can be the two of us uh, in this one frame uh, again, set up the way we want it ahead of time, uh, and then there we are to everybody else, uh, so watching us together. Yeah, the hardest thing about my show about what I do is bringing the guest in. It, it's a really tricky process that I have that I use to do it, and. With mm -hmm, it's part of the product. It's a feature. It's not. It's not a weird little David came up with hack. It's it's uh it's integrated. So yeah, it's a much better way to have a, a guest on screen with you. Um, before I shut down the 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 uh, demo, let me just show how easy it is to make a slide. Let me make let me make one more slide here. Um, so I'm gonna try to. This is, I think this is the ultimate test here. I'm saying this is supposed to be a substitute for what I do. Let's recreate. Oh yeah, another one popped up behind your head. Um, <laughs> let's recreate the Let's Do Video Show. So I've I've loaded up my boardroom. Let's make myself square again, and make myself about the right size. Okay, and it'd be oh yeah. I think we've recreated the Let's Do Video Show, and mm hmm. I, you know, I'd have to play around with some extra scenes to do the zooming in and zooming out, but I could put you here right next to me. Took at least 10 seconds too, didn't it? Uh, just about. <laughs> just about. <laughs> All right. That, this, is, uh, this is really cool. Let me, let me um, rejoin you back here. <laughs> I made you disappear instead of making me reappear. And we're back. <laughs> but we're back now. Um, so... Yeah, this is this is a little bit more expected. I, I was really impressed when we had our conversation. Just the whole concept of um, nothing against Zoom and Microsoft Teams, but making the meetings a little bit more fun, a little bit more immersive. We talked a lot about culture stuff, about really only having meetings when you absolutely need to. We should have another discussion about that. That was very interesting. Uh, but um, now that I've actually used it, uh, I think a, a lot of people watching this who have been enjoying the let's do video podcast and wanting to do something similar might be heading over to mm -hmm to try this out well come check it out uh reach out to us if you have questions if you have feedback if you have thoughts uh, you know we i think we really have similar interests uh you know you and and the mission we're on to make this type of more engaging more sort of high efficiency communication uh, mainstream uh, to let people go beyond okay, we're having a video conference because we can't be in the same room and arguing over, oh, are we going back into the office or not? And say, actually, this is a better way to communicate. Uh, we, can, we can increase the, the amount of understanding uh, that we build with each other when we're, when we're talking. Exactly. Uh, this is so perfectly keyed in for, for my audience. And I want to apologize. I feel like usually when I have a guest, I try to balance the talk 50-50 and I feel like I talk 90% of the time. <laughs> Well, that's okay. I talked ninety percent of the time last time we talked. So, okay. uh, you know, I I love that you know the software made enough sense to you that you were passionate enough to sit down and say, "Hey, let me show you this. I don't have to do the demo." Uh, I think I think you know you're onto something when uh, your users do the demo for you. Yeah, it's it's uh, you you really nailed it. And the usability is just the hardest thing about what I do. And and you got it. Uh, anything I forgot to ask, or anything else we should um, let let our viewers know before we wrap it up. I don't think so. Uh, mm -hmm is available for Mac. It's available for Windows. Uh, come to the website, mm -hmm app, and try it out. Thank you so much for being here, Seth. This is really fun. And I'll put uh, links, any links that you need, I'll put them um, down in the description. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care.